Now that you have all of your layers named, the next thing that we're going to do is go to your website here and we're going to copy paste the colors from here and get a color scheme. Notice how when I switched to analogous, it gave me all of these brown tones, these neutral tones. That's because I had my color here set to a lot of neutral tones. One thing I want you to notice about all of these colors is that they are all assigned a number. Each one has a number and or letter combination. And that number letter combination is assigned to that color. No matter where you go, no matter what website you go to, there is a number assigned to that color. I'm going to go ahead and mess with this a little bit and get a nice green color scheme, I think. Okay, now let's say that I like this color scheme for my analogous. I'm going to take this color here and copy it, Command C, go to my program, and I'm going to double click on the color picker, the foreground color. You have a foreground color and you have a background color. We're going to mess with the foreground color. And here is that number that I was talking about. So I'm going to paste that number right there, and you get the same exact color that you had over here. This number is assigned to this color based on all of these settings. We're not going to talk about all of them, but I will talk about a couple. We talked about color way back when we were in Illustrator, the CMYK. So that's still here in Photoshop, cyan, magenta, yellow, and key, which stands for black. Um, this particular color has 68% cyan, 82% yellow, no magenta, and no black. And I could move this color around if I wanted to, and you'll notice that all of those settings change. And that the numbers change, too. I could always get that back by pasting that number back in there. These stand for the hue, saturation, or the value, and then brightness, or the intensity of the color. And here you have RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue, which is what the website does, RGB. A quick review on RGB versus CMYK. Generally, RGB is used when you are talking about web colors or colors to be used on a website or on a, on a computer screen. And CMYK are the colors you'll deal with if you're going to print something. So... If I'm making a website banner, I would probably work with RGB. If I'm working with a brochure that I'm printing, then I would work with CMYK. Okay, so this is the color that I want. And I'm going to switch to my analogous layer, and I'm going to get my paint bucket. It's here. If you don't see it, then it's because it's underneath the gradient tool. And I'm going to use it to paint the different areas. So let's say that I wanted all of the words starry to be this color. So I'll start clicking. And oh no, what happened? When I'm clicking, nothing is happening. That's because, take a look at the layers here. All of these layers are on top of my analogous. And it makes this one invisible. So what you don't want to do is say, oh no, it's not working, let me click a lot of times, and it's going to work sometime. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Then you'll notice that you have a problem. Every time that you click with the paint bucket, it will expand the color a little bit. So here I go, if I click and click again, every single time I do it, it will expand the color. And you want to be careful about that because you don't want to do it so many times that you don't know where you were and you can't undo it. So play around with these. Remember, go back to the website every time you want to get a new color scheme. Make sure that you're working on the right layer. And just have fun because color is fun. One last thing that I want to note is that you can get a color 
by using what's called an eyedropper. When you open the color picker, your mouse turns into an eyedropper. And if I were to click on a color, it would collect that color as your new color. So let's say I was working with this color, but then I decide that I want the insurance company to be this kind of middle green color. I can click right here and it will change that color. Then I don't have to go back and copy paste that, that number again. And I can go ahead and make insurance that color and that one too. There you have your analogous color scheme. You've got green and yellow green and a blue green.